it is Dragon Day. After 10 episodes of build up, we are finally here at the episode, I think this is 11. This is going to be episode 11. <laughs> Which is like a part one. I, I try not to look at the titles because sometimes I can be spoily and all of that. But I did kind of peek ahead and it looks like we've got dragon part one, two, and three. So I am totally <laughs> expecting to, I, I can't sit here and record all three. I can't. It's late. It's like midnight here in Texas right now, but I can't <laughs> I had to watch just, I had to do just one more. Fortunately, there's not a lot to recap or a lot to re prepare for. Episode nine, uh, 10 was our group getting to the fifth floor, discovering that one, the dragon has not been sleeping. Uh, they put on their little frog onesies to get here and there might be some shady dealings going on with Grandpa Gnome that we met in episode nine. Um, but it seems like episode 10, like we're going to get like right into it, right into it. <laughs> uh, we left off with our group having a good meal together, Lyle's being cringe as usual, and the dragon showing up, walking the streets. And I'm really excited to see like where, where we go from here. First, though, if you guys are new here, hi, I'm Basic Wick Girl, and please make sure that you hit the subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications, and all that jazz. I will not pester you again about it until the end of the video, or, you know. Um, I think we should just get into this. I'm just, I'm, I'm itching to see what happens. Literally, I, like, I thought about going to bed. I was like, I could go wash my face. I could go get into bed, call it early, and then the episode, it just, it ended. It's such like a cliffhanger. I had to just do one more. So good job, Netflix. You got me. But let's just jump into the react. <laughs> oh, there's no, like, skip the intro. Oh, interesting. There's no intro skip for this one. Oh, Marcel looks so nervous. I'm feeling confident about my mana. Yes. So if anything happens to the others... I can cover for them. Yes. Instead of trying to hit it directly and risk hurting the others in the crossfire, I'm going to collapse a building on top of it. And hope that it doesn't fall on the others. We'll make this work. We will. Fallon, just hold out for us. Oh, there it is. Now we can skip the intro. Oh, I really like... That quick little glimpse into her mindset and all of this. Because she's been so confident with her magic, I think, leading up to this point. And now that it's really going to come into play, she's a little bit nervous about it. Which I think is so, so vulnerable and so real of her. He's sniffing. Oh, I wonder if he smelled the frog. <laughs> Oh, they're making noise. Okay. It's fast. Fun fact, red dragons can run up to 60 kilometers per hour. <laughs> He's the encyclopedia again. Uh-huh. Now we bait its fire breath down this corridor. Uh-oh. We have to make it exhaust all of its fuel. Uh. It's tonguing it. <laughs> it's tonguing it. Such intense heat. But... You're not burned, which is good. Yes, we've got it. Keep going, just keep. Oh no. What? The heat from the pan. Yes, we knew that was gonna happen though. She said she was cooking with that pan every single day. I assumed it would be able to repel dragon fire. You're so silly, Laos. No, no, no. I think she was making stuff up. Was not. <laughs> I love that. That's so cute. Gotta change course. Uh oh. She's just sitting there. Is that where it's supposed to be? Go! Does it work? Oh! <gasps> 
eight wasn't even phased. Oh no. Oh gosh. Oh no. Quiet. Don't move. Are they playing dead? Oh my gosh. Oh no. It's gonna alert the dragon. Oh. Hurry! Above us! Oh no! Doesn't have enough curse words! Punza! Fallo! Please don't cuss at me in a language I don't speak! <laughs> You don't say. This is where we live now, under the red dragon's crotch. <laughs> she just... Oh, she's trying to distract it. <gasps> oh, no. It cuts the bones and skin of any monster. His cooking knife. Uh, take this! Whoa! It really pierced right through the scales! Uh, grab it! What are you doing? I doubt I'd be able to fatally wound it. Grab it, though! This means that the plan failed, doesn't it? Or is this some sort of new one? What the heck do I do? You got this, Marcel. I believe in you! It's eat or be eaten here. If we don't give it our all, then we're gonna be some monster's dinner. Prepare yourself. That was really good. And like terms that you know that Laos like understands and respects. <gasps> hey, are you alive? I'll get this off. <sighs> d -d -d take it. Yeah. Yes, Chill Chuck. Yes. Be right back. Come on, get up. I like how the animation during this fight has gotten like a lot more tense, like intense. Like we've gotten some really like cutesy moments in animation, like throughout the whole series. But it, it's a lot grittier. It's a lot more serious. At least for the boys. At least for the boys. How will you hit the inverse scale while clinging to its face? Don't worry, I've got an idea. We can't make any more mistakes. Why don't we talk about this plan? Can we like discuss what the details are? Like maybe that'd be great. Oh man. It'll be over fast. It's not that big a deal. Is he gonna like, is he gonna like get eat? What's he gonna do? Completely just miss seeing people. Don't worry about me. Goodbye, big brother. When was that? You get healing pains if you fix a big injury in a short time. It's fine. That just means it healed properly. Now it's your turn. <laughs> 
I found it. <laughs> oh my right, god! This is so big. Aspami still lives. Yulekanto Oh my gosh. Hope she put it on the right way. <laughs> you did well. Oh, you really managed to slay the red dragon. We did as a group. We did as a group. So cute, so cringe. Guess we underestimated it, didn't we? Eh, doesn't matter since we won. Time for steak? How are we cooking it? Dragon's organs should be similar to what other creatures have. So let's try to carve our way through bit by bit. Steak? Pot roast? I hit a rib bone. We'll have to go around it and keep on digging. <laughs> Ew. Should we light a lantern? No fire. Marcel, lights please. I have to say, I really like that for her because they've they've shown how much she cares about like cleanliness and hygiene and everything. I like that they show her always changing her hairstyle. I think that that's a really cute detail. There's a lot of like, you know, animated. They'll just give their main characters a, a look and keep with it. Let's check the intestines too. Wow. What is that? What organ is that? Judging by this black fur, looks like it ate a few wargs and... <gasps> oh. A strand of hair! Could it be? Ew! I guess I should have known. I should have known as soon as it was titled at like part one, two, and three. Ugh. Gosh, dang. Man. <sighs> Delicious in dungeon. <sighs> Overall, this episode went by too freaking fast uh, as always I feel like they always do but this one in particular I think with the you know going in with the plan I like how we started the episode off with not going straight into the intro and then like how we've done in the past like we got Marcel like on her own and we got a little you know a very mo a cute little moment of vulnerability from her where she's going over the plan and it's like I you know she's been very confident in her magic I think up until this point but having her kind of have falter a little bit there and be like is this enough because it's you know it's her like best friend that they're at the old end of the day like they're to save um then seeing them kind of have to on the fly change the plan as soon as it didn't work the whole collapsing a building on this dragon um seeing how then the healing magic worked and everything like that and now potentially founding having uh found fallon but maybe already digested i don't know uh that little look that little flashback that lyle's had to them being kids again though and I guess then seeing Fallon's affinity toward the dead, we kind of already understood that from the episode with the ghosts and the sorbet. Um, having that that earlier flashback where she's like, oh, like she doesn't see them as monsters. She sees them as spirits. And she's like, you know, she like gave one a hug and that's what was enough to help it pass on. So um, seeing her first encounter with a ghost and how she did like come at it aggressively, but then you know, that was her first kind of taste into these, maybe these extra special little inclinations with magic and powers that she had with dealing with the dead. So I'm really, I'm interested to see how now that it, she seems to be like real dead. One, if we're going to get her spirit 
if she will have passed on, if there's going to be the ability to bring her back, or, you know, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see. If you guys made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. And again, hello, I'm Basic Wit Girl, and uh, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and turn on your bell notice so that you get alerted to when the next episode of Delicious and Dungeon goes live here on the channel. But until then, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. <laughs>